Hello my thick ones. So today I'm going to show you guys my video settings and my rendering settings for Sony Vegas Pro 17. And it should work for any version of Sony Vegas Pro 13 to Sony Vegas Pro 17. And if you don't have it, well you need to upgrade because the older versions doesn't have the video effect that we're going to be using today. So there's two parts. Um, I'm going to show you my video settings first and then later I'm going to show you the rendering settings. And I'm going to spare you guys the boring details on why I'm doing what I'm doing because I think everybody that's looking for this video is probably in a hurry. So just follow the screen and do exactly what I do. So as an example, I'm going to use Mortal Kombat Mui Mope. That is 11 in Vietnamese. But in our language, you would have to say Mortal Kombat number 11. Because for some reason, you have to say number before a number. So go ahead and import your video. If you have a low end computer, I don't recommend dragging and drop. Uh, go to File, Import, and um, I think Media. It helps with crashes and RAM previews and stuff like that. It's, it's better for you. For this, you're going to just hit no, don't ask why, just do it, it's better. Next, highlight your video clip and right click. Go to switches and disable resample because it's the gayest thing in the world. Now look to the top of the left of the video preview, you'll see a gear logo. And change the frame rate to 60. And for full resolution rendering quality, change that to best. And again, for resample mode, change that to disabled. And now go up here and give it a name so that it can save itself as a preset so you don't have to keep doing this all over again. Now go over to video effects, go to color corrector, make sure it's secondary, drag it onto your video clip, and adjust the saturation to 1.4. This is what I found to what I like the most, but if, um, you can play around with it and you know go to whatever you like the best. Now adjust the gain to 1.165 and again you can adjust these to however you think is best. And the last one just change offset to negative 10. And here's a little preview. You can see the differences between leaving it as default and you know tweaking it a little bit with the color corrector. The colors pop a lot more, and this is just the um, the preview. Once you render it, you'll see how amazing it looks, and um, because we're gonna render it in 1440p at 60 frames per second, and it, the the results just look amazing compared to the original. Alright, now it's time to render it. Go to File, Render As, Sony AVC, MVC, and select Internet 1920 by 1080 p 30 frames per second, and Customize Template. You're gonna go to Frame Size and change it to Custom Frame Size. Change the width to 2560, and change the height to 1440. Make sure Profile is set to High, and change the frame rate to 60. And make sure this is this box is unchecked. And if you want, you can go to audio, and there's not much you can change to make a difference. Actually, um, change this to 384. That's probably the best quality for the audio. And if you want this in surround or stereo, that's entirely up to you. I usually use uh, surround. Now go to project and change this to best, and just hit OK. All right, now go here and change the name of your video to whatever you want. Try to name it something relevant to the kind of video that you are making because it pulls in an audience that are into the same type of videos that you're into and the type of videos that you're uploading on YouTube. Oh shit, I forgot that exclamation points can't be used as a video file. All right, so that means I got to go back and change that name real quick. 